Yo, what is good, my anime babe? What is good? So, with Call of Night being what it is, it is so random that having our main character look for a girl who is getting her photos taken of pretty much is a highlight for our character, seeing how anything at nighttime is relatively fun to him, right? Like, he just wants to be a part of the nightlife, and this just so happens to be a part of it. Having people need help uh, with odd tasks <laughs> seemingly is one of the bigger things that always happens during the night, is meeting people or dealing with some new things you didn't even know you were going to be a part of. So... With this, it was feeling like we were just going to get a normal maid episode, and then it was probably going to have the two of them just go do their own thing, but instead, it relatively stayed focused on this maid cafe and the people working there because of the vampire who also was working there, giving us more or less what we can expect for the future of the show being random <laughs> being absolutely random which i really don't have a problem with uh, as long as it's like entertaining which uh watching the vampire girl just react to simple things is usually pretty funny so i am uh looking forward to what they ultimately start to do with like the other vampires or like what it means to not make a kin of somebody all that type of stuff that they've been kind of warning us of um that's ultimately what we have to look forward to if he can become the thing he wants to become or if he is going to fail horribly and maybe never be able to get this opportunity again which is pretty messed up in the end but at the same time it's seemingly just a rule that the vampires abide by and we have no like really other information as of what's the problem or who set these rules it's kind of just ultimately agreed upon amongst these other vampires so that's ultimately another really cool aspect of what they're introducing to us is their type of life and how it is that humans are just a part of it right like yeah they don't really need them and if they don't fall if the humans don't fall in love with the vampires they really don't need them or like they really don't keep them around so it's a lot of interesting things like that that still have me like curious as to why these things are happening that way um but ultimately hopefully we learn uh more of it sooner than later but if not we are getting close to the season finale, so maybe it will be a big plot in season two, just having a better understanding of where the vampires are coming from or why it's important to have the human that they are talking to fall in love and become an offspring, or they have no contact with them for the rest of the time that they know them after uh, failing to do so. A lot of interesting stuff like that, but of course the show itself isn't paying any attention to it. It's just being itself, and that's what's fun about it. So I hope y'all are enjoying, and I'll definitely be talking to you in the next one. Drop a like, subscribe, it helps the channel out tremendously, and I will definitely be talking to y'all in more videos sooner than later. So take care. Thank you so much for even clicking, and peace.